Good afternoon and welcome to the 2024 AHR Expo in Chicago. My name is Amalia Delianis and I am the editor of Plumbing Engineer Magazine. Right now I'm standing in the Vega booth and with me today I have Colton Hinkowski and he's a technical trainer at Vega. Welcome. Absolutely, super glad to be here. Thank you for coming and thank you for joining me today and explaining a little bit about what Vega's touting at the show. What are we looking at? Heck yeah, so our big push this year is gonna be our valving platform. Um, we've always had half to two inch pro press ball valves. Uh, we've expanded further down the line into the two and a half, three and four with the pro press and also all the way up to four inch with our mega press and our mega press gas valves. So bigger industries, larger areas, everything needs a valve to shut it off. We already have the best fitting. Now we offer the best valves to go with those platforms as well. Oh, that's fantastic. Where, what areas are your, are your fittings used in? Oh man, so kind of everywhere. So industrial, commercial, and even residential. So the larger valves, we're definitely moving heavy commercial into industrial, especially with our mega press valves. We have a spring check valve now, which you know pushes flow in one direction. So really important. And then we also came out with our two piece and our three piece. Three piece is great because it gives you the ability to like break that valve down and do MRO work. So if it's an industrial facility and you have to repair the valve every year, whether it's broke or not, three piece is a great way to go. And then for about 30% less, we came out with that two piece valve for less vital situations where you're not breaking it down all the time and things like that. Okay, and I hear that some big news came out recently about being ASME B31 certified. Yes, so the ASME B31 standard is basically just more stringent and higher pressure velocity areas. Mm -hmm. So we finally hit that standard. We did it with flying colors and we're really happy to boast that this year. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, so um, we saw on LinkedIn before the show that uh, Vega is opening up another facility. Can Absolutely. you talk to me a little bit about that? Yeah, so we already have McPherson, Kansas. We're mm -hmm. putting another 40 million into that to make sure that it's working the way it's supposed to, to the highest standard. But now in Ohio, we're putting $200 million over the next year to a brand new facility that will both be manufacturing and a training facility. It makes sense to have two manufacturing areas in case anything happens in one, we have a second site to really support the American market in a way we never have before. Sounds fantastic. Um, I believe we're going to transition to another spot. So yeah, we can we... definitely push across. We're going to okay. show a lot of our pecs. So pecs, valves, large size. Uh, pecs is a huge part of the industry. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are transitioning from metals to pec systems. They're less expensive. They go in a lot faster and they have great quality that comes with them as well. Fantastic. Well, let's take a walk. Cool. So uh, Colton, I hear that Vega has both metal and plastic systems. Yeah. Absolutely, so we have Mega Press and Pro Press, which is like our steel, stainless steel and copper. Mm -hmm. um, but we've always had our Pure Flow system, which is our PEC system, okay. which we press just like our metal systems. And kind of coming over in a transition, we have the best transition fitting as well, which I'm gonna let you utilize here. Fantastic. So if you're going from a copper system to a plastic system, mm -hmm. it used to be kind of a cumbersome method. You'd have to sweat one side, wait for it to cool, expand, crimp, whatever it is. With our fitting system, we have our copper pro press on one side. Mm -hmm. So I'll just put that on there right there. And then you can utilize this tool to make that press and press the copper side. So okay. it's a spring loaded jaw, which will open just like that. It okay. slips right over the fitting and then you can pull that trigger under your thumb. This one right here? Perfect, so the copper side is done. And what's great about the Pro Press system is as soon as you wanna to go to Pure Flow, mm -hmm. you don't have to change tools, you're just gonna change the jaw. So we can take our pecs, put it right in. We're just okay. gonna replace the Pro Press jaw with the Pure Flow jaw, okay. slip that in, and now we're right onto our pec system without a whole new tool. So that'll slip right over next to that tool indicator. Right here? Right back a little further down, just okay. like that. You pull that trigger. and that jaw comes off. Fantastic. And now one of the most interesting parts is it's ready for flow right now. Mm -hmm. So most systems you would have to wait for the solder to cool. That crimp system does it, it finishes it. And you don't have to wait for it to relax back down. So it's ready for full flow and we can even make presses under flow conditions. So if I put the cap on and say I forgot to press a fitting or something was leaking by, you can see it comes out of mm -hmm. there. You can actually put the tool on there and press it with the water coming by and it can be Just instantly like pressurized. Yeah, exactly. So we go like that. Right there, water coming by, you pull the trigger and it's ready for pressure. Fantastic. So I can take my pump and I can pump us up and we can go up and shoot, we're already at 600 PSI on that right now. 
That's amazing. So fast, safe, simple. And the big deal here is a lot of the industry is going towards PEX, both mm -hmm. commercial and residential. And we have the solution with the one tool to make it happen. So if you were doing it the old school way, how long would that have taken? Oh, we're talking like 15 minutes to heat that up, uh, protect the area, create the sweat joint. And then you have to wait a certain amount of time for old PEX to mm -hmm. relax. Whereas with ours, you press it and you're done. So Colton, I hear that Vega is celebrating a big milestone this year. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Absolutely. So we are actually 125 years old this year. Wow, um, we're still a family owned business and we've been in America for 25 years now. We were born in beer. So Franz Alzheim Wigner, the first thing mm -hmm. he ever made was a threaded brass beer tap. Mm -hmm. So instead of driving like a wooden spile into a keg, mm -hmm. he made the threaded brass beer tap. That turned into like plumbing fixtures and then sweat fittings and now press fittings. But in the spirit of that and innovation, even though we're 125 years mm -hmm. old, we're always trying to come out with something new and better than we had before. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna show off the branch connector. Fantastic. Now, have you ever heard of a threadlet? You know what a threadlet is? No. Typically, we would come in with a connection that we would have to weld into place. Okay. So instead of welding it, we came out with a version that is a press version. Okay. So this is what we call the press in branch connector. It comes in its own cute little box tells you what size and schedule it is. Mm -hmm. And then we take that out of that bag and you can see how this thing really works. So we've got our bird cage, which mm -hmm. is gonna pull tight against the inside. Okay. And then this sealing element is gonna seal against the face. Okay. Now typically this weld is gonna take you somewhere around 20, 30 minutes. That's without protection or fire permit or any of that. That's just to finish the weld. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put this in in a matter of seconds. Wow. So you're gonna take your tool adapter. Mm -hmm. You're gonna take the threaded side and put it towards the tool adapter right on there. Mm -hmm. Grab your mandrel, it'll go through and take it hand tight all the way down on the inside of that fitting. It doesn't screw in place, it just- It'll go all the way down, yep. Just like that? So or it keeps screwing, screw yeah, yeah, yeah. So it comes all the way down. And now once that's set, you can just set it right inside the pipe. So that's basically the total installation. We already have the hole pre-drilled, so in the field you'd have mm -hmm. to drill that hole. Okay. Uh, so it sets in, and we've got this cool clamp that comes over the top. So it stays stationary? Exactly, so it doesn't move around while we're making the press. We take any standard size tool, you're gonna slip that right over the top with the pin going on the side. Now push the pin in and pull that trigger. Pull that tool out. We take off the clamp and you can tell in a matter of seconds we did a process that used to take you know, 20, 30 minutes. That's amazing. Absolutely.